All right, guys, we're just going to do a quick little video today. I want to kind of bring you up to date on what's going on uh, in my life. I'm out on a little hike this morning looking for caves, not far from my house. But I'm heading over to London this evening. Now, I'm going to be meeting with the History UK people if I survive this short journey. I'm trying to get up there so I can look down there. That's the Potomac River down there. It's kind of get ice. It's got ice and snow on it. That's about 10 degrees this morning, but it's supposed to get really warm while I'm gone. So like up almost a 50. And so here's what's going on. I'm actually just headed to London. I'm going to meet with the, uh, the history UK people, do a little advertising stuff for the uh, show um, River Hunters, which is the one I shot this past summer with uh, my co-host Rick Edwards, who I'm going to get to see again. Who knows what name he's made up for me this time. <laughs> he's pretty good at that. <laughs> I'm not. And, uh, and the Hello Halo people, which is a production company that took very good care of me last year when I was over there during the time of sickness. But anyway, I headed over, so you're not going to see any like really new videos for about a week or so. I'll have uh, some with long hair, some with shorter hair like I have now. I actually had to cut it. So it looks like it did last summer. It's still a little bit too long though. I have to tighten that up. And, uh, but there's some, there's gonna be some good videos. Tomorrow night's video is gonna be really interesting. Short, but sweet. And it's a mystery. Um, that's an old uh, water tank. There used to be cabins back here along the river on these cliffs. And I'm pretty sure that's a tank from one of the, uh, one of the cabins. It's actually a septic tank, but because it's up high like that, they probably use it as a cistern. Um, this is probably about as far as I'm going to go here. <laughs> I was hoping to get down on the river with you guys, but I don't think I'm going to do that because I'm actually kind of running out of time. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I think that's about it. A week of video, some good, some bad, some short hair, some long hair. I'll have news when I get back, I promise, about that show. So I have no idea when it's airing, but I'm sure they'll tell me when I get over there. I don't like to ask too many questions. Oh yeah, one other thing. Um... For you guys that follow me like on, uh, on my Patreon page or Instagram or any of those places, you know that I was just recently out at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. It's the shooting, hunting, outdoor, something, something show. Largest of its kind in the world. And uh, I was out there with the Garrett people. They invited me to come out, so I was signing, you know, signing my name and uh, signature cards and meeting with fans. It was a lot of fun. Got to see Santana in concert. And I got to go to the Glock uh, reception which was exclusive. My buddy KG from uh, Digger Show got me a, a ticket, so that was pretty fun. I had a good time, appreciate that. Anyway, back to what I was gonna say. Lots of cool products out there. Talked to a bunch of people when I was just kind of walking around the floor and uh, they're gonna send me some things. I'm gonna get a state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line trail camera to put in the caves out here. Hey, I'll show you this cave real quick. They're putting these caves out here to see what goes in and out at night. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, the model they're gonna send me actually has like a phone antenna. So it, as soon as it gets triggered, I get a signal on my phone with a picture of whatever's there. So I'm looking forward to that. Probably gonna get a thermal imaging video camera I'm working with a guy on doing that. They get some really cool spooky videos. Yeah, underwater drone. Um, you know, the, uh, a little device that goes underwater and has a cable on it. You can see all the like cannonballs and muskets and cool things like that. I'm going to get one of those too. And that's coming pretty soon. Look at this cave. This cave here is, uh, I haven't actually been in it very far. I went down a little ways, but it got really tight. I did not want to go very far by myself, uh, cause it, I was afraid I'd get stuck. But look, you can see the warm air comes up. You can see where it kind of melted the snow. And the other day I was out here. Now, if I have that little clip still, I'll, I'll show it just real quick right now. And if I did, I just showed it to you. But you can see the steam coming out of it. It was really cool. And that's just the warm air being forced out into the very, you know, zero degree temperature air that it was here a couple days ago. So Again, that's the Potomac River. That's the towpath. You can see where people have been walking on it. It's uh, not frozen all the way. Some of the spots out there are not frozen yet because it just got cold a few days ago. This is the same Potomac River that flows down past Washington, D.C., which is about 70 miles that direction. And that path goes almost all the way there. And it also goes another 70 miles up into the mountains. So it's called the Sino Canal, National Historical Park. All right, so off we go. Um, 
hope you enjoyed the videos this week if you do make sure you click like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i always like to get more subscribers the more subscribers i have i've discovered the more willing people are <laughs> to uh send me gear to play with but you get to see too so it's a win-win for both of us if it's really good then you guys can go buy it if you want to or just watch me play with it that's all i'm going to play with you guys anyway just take that gear i'll be quiet now i'm gonna get myself in trouble gotta go pack get ready for the flight we'll see you in a week with even shorter here because my wife didn't cut it short enough <laughs> adios